Welcome everyone to the video. Today we're going to be doing cube roots of perfect cubes. So let's go into first, what is a cube root? Well, a cube root of a number is when you use that number in multiplication three times. So for example, if I use a number, let us say two, if I take two and I use it in multiplication three times, because it's a cube root, that's where the three comes from. Two times two times two is eight. So the cube root of eight would be two, right? The cube root, you're looking for that number that's used in multiplication three times um, because it's the cube root to get to the number you're looking for. So in this first example, it says, what is cube root of 27? So I'm looking for a number multiplied by itself two other times. So number times number times number, and I want it to equal 27. Well, I know it's not two, because two times two times two is eight. So let's try the next number, let's try three. Three times three times three. Well, three times three is nine. Nine times three is indeed 27, so it is three. Right, we can also use what's called a factor tree to break this down and look for groups of three of the same number. So what number goes into 27? Let's say we think of three, three goes in nine times. What number goes into nine? Well, three goes into nine three times. So whenever you're breaking a number up and you get this, these three numbers that are the same, Right? As long as that's all there is, it's a perfect cube, and the cube root of that number is whatever this number is, in this case, three. So let's go ahead and select three for our first answer. All right, getting into some big numbers here. Um, we have, what is the cube root of 1,728? So let's try to break this up as well, right? Let's use our um, divis divisibility rules to see if it's even divisible by nine first. So one and seven is eight. Eight plus two is 10. 10 plus eight is 18. So nine does go into this. Let's, let's see what happens if we break it down into nine. Well, nine, Nine goes into 17 once, right? And I have eight left over. Nine goes into 82 nine times. And I have one left over. And nine goes into 18 twice. So unfortunately, this would have to be nine times nine in order for it to be the cube root as nine, because um, we'd have three nines. That's not going to work out. So it's definitely not nine. Let's see what other numbers we can use here. 15, it would have to end in five or zero. So that's not it. Let's try 12. Um, so 12, if we break up in our factor tree, 12 goes into 17 once. We have five left over, so 52. 12 goes into 52 four times, because 12 times four is 48. That's four left over, so 48 again. That would be four. So 12 times 144 is 1,728, which is good for us because 144 is a perfect square, 12 times 12, right? 192 was not a perfect square. It was not nine squared, but 144 is 12 squared. So now if you look, I have a number multiplied by itself, and I'm using that number three times, so it's a cube, this is a perfect cube with the cube root of 12. That 12 shows up three times there. So 12 times 12 times 12 is 1,720. All right, a little easier for us here. What is the cube root of 1,000? Well, 1,000 is 10 times 100, and 100 is a perfect square. It is 10 times 10. So a number used three times in multiplication, in this case, 10. The cube root of 1,000 is 10. All right, another nice one, 120. What is the cube root of 125? 
Well, 125 is 5 times 25. 25 is a perfect square, 5 times 5. So a number used in multiplication three times, 5 times 5 times 5 means the cube root of 125 is 5. What is the cube root of 0? Well, if you want to take a number and multiply and use it three times in multiplication and get 0, in order to multiply to get 0, one of the numbers has to be 0. If it's a cube root, then the numbers have to be the same. So 0 times 0 times 0 would equal 0. So the cube root of 0 is 0. We're on a roll. All right, let's take a look at this one. So the cube, what is the cube root of 8,000? We'll just look at the options here. Let's look at 20 because it ends in 0. So 20 times 400 is 8,000. 400 is a perfect square. It's 20 times 20. The number used in multiplication three times, in this case 20, so the cube root of 8,000 is 20. And because it ends in zero, right, the other answers don't really make sense. Maybe 25, but 20 was our best option there. What is the cube root of 343? So 343, 10 times 10 times 10. We know that's not it. We've used that. Um, let's try to go with the first one here. 7 times 7 times 7. If the cube root of 343 is 7, then I can use it in multiplication three times to get the answer. Well, what's 7 times 7? 7 times 7 is 49. 49 times 7, well, 50 times 7 is 350, minus 7, because 1 each time, 350 minus 7 will get us to 343. So 49 times 7 is 343, which means the cube root of 343 is indeed 7. All right, what is the cube root of 3,375? I think using 15 makes the most sense in this one, but let's check it out. So if I take 15 into this number, right? Let's do our long division again over here. So 15 is gonna go into 33 twice. That's 30, 15 times two. I have three left over. 15 goes into 37 twice as well. I have seven left over. And 15 goes in the 75, five times. So 15 times 225 is 3,375. 225 is a perfect square. It is 15 times 15. So if I use 15 three times in multiplication, that means the cube root of 3,375 is 15. So that's it for today. We went 10 for 10. That was cube roots of perfect cubes. I hope you enjoyed and good luck in your next lesson.